just saw and I'm a little more awake now I feel better now I'm just like more lively and I just feel more awake obviously Duh. the yoga really helped waking up my muscles I felt so stiff this morning so it felt good to stretch nonetheless so this is my breakfast right here it is just like a bowl of like cereal I guess oatmeal it's like a mix of stuff as you guys know if you guys have been watching me for a while I don't love oatmeal so I like to really make it delicious like put a lot of things with it so it tastes good and so I have this kind of like oatmeal mix it has buckwheat in it chia seed in it hold on let me go get it because I don't remember what's in it in it it has gluten-free oats dry coconut buckwheat chia seeds and hemp seeds and so this stuff is delicious I really recommend if you guys can find something like this pick it up so I just put that in I actually made it like normal oatmeal like with water added in some frozen blueberries I heated up the blueberries obviously so they look kind of like mushy I guess because <laughs> I heated them up for a little too long but that's okay it still tastes delicious and then I added in some shredded almonds with that I added a little more hemp seed in that as well just because I like hemp seed and then I added in some dark chocolate chips those just make it nice and sweet so on top of that I drizzled some maple syrup to make it a little more sweet than just with the chocolate chips I like to have it sweet it's not overpoweringly sweet don't worry just I'll add a little bit of that just to make it a little more sweeter than plain oatmeal because plain oatmeal is just like and then on top of that I also added in some almond milk and that's what we have here it's kind of like a cereal oatmeal mixture I'm not really sure what to call it but I find the milk makes it kind of like a cereal mixture which is better than just the kind of texture from oatmeal so if you really don't like oatmeal I really recommend this it is delicious so I'm gonna go eat this and I'll see you guys later So guys, I'm dressed and I'm about to head off to work and I just made myself a smoothie. I like to bring some sort of food or smoothie or whatever so I have something to keep with me just in case I'm a little hungry and so I made myself a green smoothie. It's like really dark though. It looks almost black on camera. It's a very dark green today. I feel like I haven't perfected my green smoothie recipe yet. I'm still working on it, but nonetheless, it still is good and delicious. So my green smoothie recipe, I have a half a banana in there, some blueberries, some mango, some water, some maple syrup to add a little bit of sweetness, and then I also added in some sprunella, sprunella, I don't know how to say that. It's like algae, it has tons of protein and it has tons of benefits in it. I'll do a whole video on it like when I perfect my recipe and talk more about it, but honestly, the stuff's not too bad. It does have a bit of like a CBD taste, I would say just a little bit, but when you like mix it with a ton of stuff, it really doesn't taste that different. So that's what I'm having. It's a dark smoothie today. So we're gonna have that and we're gonna head off to work. So I will see you guys when I get back from work. All right guys, it is lunchtime now, and I'm honestly not feeling 100% right now. I woke up not feeling 100%, but I thought it would pass, but right now it's really not passing. Once I got to work, I was like dying, so, you know, I'm a little tired right now, and I'm not feeling 100%. However, I'm still gonna eat, I still feel a little hungry, so I still am gonna eat throughout the day, so I'll just show you. It might be just a little less food than what I normally eat just because I'm not feeling 100% right now. But yes, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna have for lunch. Honestly, when I'm not feeling good, I love to just eat junk food. Like, I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but when I don't feel good, I just wanna eat really bad foods because it's like comforting, I guess, because when you're not feeling good, you just wanna be comforted and those are comfort foods. It's just like eating, not the best foods. So I'm gonna have lunch and it's gonna be very simple and very basic and I'm going to have some chickpea tuna. If you guys watched my last vlog, we made some chickpea tuna, I believe, or video before, I honestly cannot remember. Um, but we made it recently and it has been so good and it's great to have at lunch. It's lightweight, it's easy to make and 
just good to have for a sandwich. So I'm not gonna show you guys the making process of the chickpea curry because I already have some made. I made some a couple of days ago, so it's still good and I wanna eat it up before it goes bad. So I'm just gonna put the list here of what I put in the chickpea tuna. It's obviously chickpeas, some tahini sauce, some vegan mayo, you can put regular mayo if you want, some Dijon mustard, some celery, some garlic powder, some salt and a little bit of pepper. Mix that all up and just kinda, you know, mash the chickpeas a little bit and it's delicious, really easy to make. For the sauce, I don't really put like an exact amount. Like I literally just kinda scoop it in and go with how I'm feeling. I usually put around a quarter of a cup of each thing in the sauce. It de really depends what you prefer. I advise you guys, if you're gonna try a recipe like this, really play around with it. I find everyone has a different recipe of the chickpea tuna and really just varies how you like it. So I just kind of throw things in and mix it all up and hope it tastes good. So yes, I'm just having that. It doesn't look the best right now, but it's in here and I'm just gonna have that on two pieces of toast. So I have my toast here and it is the grandfather bread. It's just a vegan bread. So I'm gonna toast it up, put some of that on it and that's pretty much it. That's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I also just snacked on last night's leftovers. So we have some baked potatoes and baked carrots. And I was just snacking on them while I'm waiting for the toast, but I wanted to put it in there because this is what I eat in the day. So this is what I'm eating. I'm decided to just like, I'm hungry a bit-ish, not really, but. So we just made some supper and I'm having a very basic supper as you guys saw. We are having some Amy's lentil soup. It is delicious. It doesn't look that great, but I love that soup. I love Amy's lentil soup. I'm having that with a bun and just some butter, just something plain. Cause like I said before, really not feeling that great. David's having a really big mix of stuff cause both of us are not super hungry. So he's having the lentil soup. He's also having some wild rice mixture pre-made salad and then some vegan fish sticks so it's all that here so some uh, wild rice vegan fish sticks and amy's soup that's what we're having all right guys so i'm ending off my what i eat in the day with a couple ginger chews if you guys have seen them you guys know what this is it's just a couple ginger chews they're like sweet and everything and i think that it will be good for my stomach because has ginger in it and it will help settle it you know it's good to have when you're not feeling the greatest so i'm gonna have these and i'm gonna end off the video here this pretty much was like a weight loss what i eat in the day i tried to keep it as plant-based as possible like i said before i like to eat junk food and comfort food on my days that i'm not feeling the best because it's comforting but i tried to stay as plant-based as possible as fruit and vegetable Focus as possible and I think I did good. If you want to see more what I eat in the days, they're all linked down below or they're in the playlist. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. 
you guys know where it is. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down. Cold inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground. Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance. Love me like you used to, so we can learn again. The skin is getting round, baby.